Welcome, brothers and sisters. You are now in tune again with the Great Controversy Warrior. In this video, I wanted to discuss something that I found on a website called The Mirror. It's an alternative uh, news media outlet website. It's not CNN, it's not MSNBC, it's not Fox News, it's none of these big mainstream media. This is a alternative media outlet. And it has so much to do in the news again. I don't know if many of you saw my other video uh, speaking on the Christ-like Pope, your eminent father, Pope Francis, your holy father. Ha <laughs> ha, holy father, right. Uh, I was speaking on him. Well, guess what, brothers and sisters? We are back again in the news with, check it out, yours truly, Pope Francis. What does that say right there? It says, pregnant secretary of Pope Francis found dead in her Rome apartment. Uh oh, uh oh, look who it is. Your holy father, Pope Francis. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. But anyway, let's, let's read on. It says, Miriam Wolu, a 34-year-old of Eritrean origin, that's a country bordering Sudan and um, Ethiopia, was seven months pregnant when her body was discovered. Uh, the Pope's secretary, pregnant secretary, receptionist, had been found dead in her apartment on the outskirts of the city. Miriam Wolu, a 34-year-old of entry origin, was seven months pregnant when her body was discovered. She had worked at Pope Francis' home and priest, guess how, called Santa Marta for years. The Italian press reports she worked as a kind of gatekeeper for the pontiff, as well as for the bishops and cardinals who stayed there. The Pope opt to live at Santa Marta guest house after his appointment in 2013, rejecting the grand papal apartments because he found them too swamp sumptuous and he feared isolation. That is your, uh, that's still not bad though. They talk about more humble. Look at that. That's still nice. This is the Santa Marta residence. The Dominus San Sante Mar Thai at the Vatican City. Miss Wolu had serious kinds of diabetes, which had led doctors to warn her pregnancy was at risk. Police are investigating a case of neglect and have found interviewed have interviewed family members her ex-husband from whom she was separated and her most recent boyfriend thought to be a policeman in the Vatican. According to Rome-based newspaper, Il Mensajero, the first external examination of corpse showed no signs of violence. Her brother found the body on Friday after he had not heard from her for several days. The autopsy has been carried out. The DNA tests are to be carried out on the fetus. The Vatican spokesman, Father Federico Lombardi, said Pope Francis had been informed of the death. We are all pained by this news. So, brothers and sisters, why do I bring this to light? Well, Vatican Daily, Catholic News Agency, had not reported on this. I hadn't seen it because I check it all the time. I had not heard from this from Fox News, from uh, CBS, from MSNBC, from CNN. I hadn't heard from nobody. So I just wanted to point it out and uh, 
Yeah. In the Vatican, in yours truly, Holy Father, the eminent Holy Father, Prince, uh, Pope Francis, uh, secretary found dead. That is kind of odd, wouldn't you say? And no type of reporting from mainstream media. But alternative news, as always, the better of the news, picks it up. And still, no one is talking about it, getting a uh, big investigation to see what's going on. You know, it's something involving Pope Francis. So we got to we gotta see what's going on. But, uh, you know, I, it's funny how on here it says that uh, Pope Francis... Um, didn't want to stay in the lavish, you know, papal uh, apartments. But, ladies and gentlemen, does anyone know what group Pope Francis represents? What group he's in? The order? Which, which order he's in? He's in the Jesuits. Yes, the Society of Jesus, founded by Ignatius Loyola. In 1552. But guess what, brothers and sisters? There's something else that's very interesting. Did Pope Francis get his name because of Pope, because of Francis of Assai, a humble uh, bishop? I forgot where he's from. Let, let's check it out, though. Francis of Assai. They say that that's, that's the name that he grabbed, Francis, because of uh, Francis of a side. But brothers and sisters, Pope Francis did not get his name from the humble Francis of a side. He got his name from France, St. Francis Xavier, one of the other Jesuit order leaders and founders. Let's look it up. Of, of, of a sissy, my bad. Francis of Assisi. Let's check it out. Where's he from? From Italy. Here we go. Francis of Assisi. Saint Francis. Born Giovanni de Petrio di Bernardone. Bernardone. I like those. I love those Italian names. They're so intriguing. Giovanni de Petrio di Bernardone. Nardone. Oh, I love that. Formal, informally named as Francesco. Francesco was an Italian Roman Catholic friar, a preacher, basically. He founded the men's order of friars minor, the woman's and the woman's order of St. Clair, the third order of St. Francis, and the custody of the Holy Land. Francis is one of the most veneered religious figures in history. There he is over there, brothers and sisters. Co-patron of Italy, founder of the Seraphic Order. They say that Pope Francis got his name from there, from Francis of Assisi. But guess where he got his, this is where he really got his name from. Let's look it up. That's why I love looking up things. So great. This is who he got his name from, really. St. Francis Xavier. There he is. Painting of St. Francis Xavier held in Kobe City Museum. Born Javier in April the 7th, 1506 in Spain, Kingdom of Navarre, present Spain, and died 3rd of December, 1552. How funny that is when if he was if he was uh he was 46 as a matter of fact and he died in Portugal in Sao Jao Island, now China. How funny. Guess what else, brothers and sisters? He was of the Society of Jesus Christ. Saint Francis Xavier Born Francisco de Hasso y Aspilicueta, was a Navarrese Basque Roman Catholic Church, Roman Catholic missionary. Born Xavier, Kingdom of Navarre, now part of Spain, 
and co-founder of the Society of Jesus. He was a companion of Ignatius of Loyola. And one of the first seven Jesuits who took vows of poverty and chastity at Mount Mar Martre, Paris in 1534. So, brothers and sisters, if you don't know what the Jesuit order is, I suggest you look them up. I have a book on a famous insider of the Jesuits named Malachi Martin. It's called The Jesuit. That is explaining their whole order and how they started and what their real mission was. And the real mission is to destroy Protestant Protestantism, to destroy people who protest against the Catholic Church system. We're not talking bad about, um, I want the brothers and sisters who are Roman Catholic to understand, I'm not talking bad about you as a person. I'm talking bad about your organization, which is satanic. Do not get deceived. The reason why I want to talk about these things is because we are asleep. We need to wake up to the things that are going on in this world. And the Lord con commends us to expose evil. Read Ephesians 5.8. Do not have nothing to do with the darkness. Rather, expose them. So I just expose things that I find. But anyway, why do... I just find it very funny how this girl was found dead in Pope Francis' residency and that the none of the agencies of news of the Vatican, of the Catholic Roman uh, system, did not report on this. And then they didn't get the American and other news outlets to report on this, the big news outlets, you know, CNN, Fox, MSNBC, CBS, NBC, uh, NBC you know, none of these people. So I just find it funny. And like I said, uh, Pope Francis is seen as a humble, good, uh, uh, loving, caring for humanity. But really, brothers and sisters, we need to read on the history of the Jesuits. I'm telling you, read up on the history of the Jesuits. That's why it's good to know your history. And most importantly, Know your Bible, because in the Bible it tells us everything that's going on. In Revelations and Daniel. Read your Bible. Wake up. This is a wake up call to all my brothers and sisters, to my youth, to my teachers, to my uh, construction workers, to everyone. Wake up. These things are happening while we are entertaining ourselves with stupid shows and sports and other events that have nothing to do with the Lord. We need to wake up. But always in a good note, the Lord Jesus is coming very soon. And we must not be alarmed by these things. I just like to report on them because some people really don't know what's going on. So I like to report and tell people what's going on, but we really don't need to be alarmed because they're going to happen regardless. But know your Bible, brothers and sisters. Know your great country. You must get a great controversy. The best book that you could ever read in this time, The Great Controversy. That's why my name is The Great Controversy Warrior. Uh, but yeah, brothers and sisters, this Sunday I will be doing a part two to questions and answers, except this time we will be in Spanish. So if you don't know Spanish, you better learn some Spanish. <laughs> ah, it's great always. It's always great to preach the word. And like I said, know your Bible. Have a relationship with Jesus. And on that note, brothers and sisters, I'm out. Take care.